Hello boys and girls, you remember how we did our sums in our new numeracy speckled guidebooks? Now we're going to look at doing some sentences in our new literacy books. So boys and girls, you all know that you have tall letters, short letters and tail letters. So it's very important to remember that when you're doing this work. And remember, our numbers are just the same size as our short letters. So we're going to start off and we're going to look and at our date. So the date today is the 10th of June. So I need to go to my margin side just like we did in our numeracy book and we're going to write the date. So remember, numbers go from the dotted line down to the solid line. So I'm going to write my 10 from the dotted line down and I'm going to stop at the solid line and then up, touch the dotted line, round, touch the solid line, up and stop. Now I need to have a finger space. Boys and girls, this is very important, is your finger space. And then we need to write June. Down, round, and nicely crossed along the top there to make our J. Then we've got up the umbrella, down, touch, up, touch, down, touch. Then we've got noisy neck. Down, touch the solid line, up, touch the dotted line, down, touch the solid line. Very important, boys and girls, to touch the line. Don't go past the line and don't stop before the line. Then we've got a elephant starts in the middle, out, up, round, and stop. Okay, now boys and girls, just like we did in our numeracy, when we wrote our sums, remember we left this whole line out? We need to do the same thing again. So this whole line we're going to leave out and we're going to go down to the next line. Now if we look very carefully, our sentences have numbers. So our first sentence is number one. We write our number one inside the margin. Do you see here is the margin line? And our number one is inside the margin. But our sentence only starts at the margin. So boys and girls, We've got to come back to ours, we leave a line and we go down and we write our number one inside the margin. Then, boys and girls, we're going to start our sentence. So if I look at the first sentence, it says, a pink pig. So, a sentence starts with a capital, a capital letter is always a tall letter. So we've got to start on the solid line at the top, down all the way to the bottom solid line, lift, back to the top, all the way down to the bottom solid line. And boys and girls, it's very important to cross on the dotted line there. Okay, that helps you on where we can start. Then we've got to have a finger space and we can write the P for pink. Now, P is a tail letter. So it goes down past the solid line to the next dotted line. Up, round, and it sits on the solid line, boys and girls. Because this is a small P, it's not a capital P. So it goes down, has a tail, back up, round, and it sits on that solid line. MP ink, dotted line. Down, solid line. Pick up your pencil. Now you're going to go to the middle between the dotted line and the solid line and you're going to do your dot. Noisy neck. Mm, down, touch, up, round, touch, down, touch. Stop. Now we've got K, kicking king. Boys and girls, kicking king is a tall letter. So we start at the top, at the solid line. Come all the way down to the next solid line. Now when we do the kicks of our kicking king, we need to go to our dotted line, bring it into the middle, lift, and back out again here. A P, 
pink. Now we need another word. So we need to put a finger space, boys and girls. The next word says pig. So we've got to go back and do our p. Remember, p is a tail letter. Goes down, back up again, round. And that nice fat tummy of the pig sits on the solid line. Then we've got MP ink again, down, touch, and a dot in the middle. And then our G. G, boys and girls, is also a tail letter. So we go round, touch the bottom line, up. Now we've got to go down and give it a tail. Go past that solid line and give the tail curls nicely on the dotted line. At the end of a sentence, we always have a full stop. Now, boys and girls, very important, you've got to leave a line. Whenever we write in our literacy book and we write sentences, we always leave a line out in between each sentence. So I'm going to leave this line out, just like in my copy card, and I'm going to now go down here and write a number two. Okay, now boys and girls, the first letter here, I did my work. So let's have a look carefully here. I is a tall letter from the top, the solid line, down all the way to the bottom, solid line, cross the top, cross the bottom, like a beautiful I. I, finger space, did, beautiful dirt is a tall letter, all the way to the top when we do our tall letters, did, MP ink in the middle, dotted in the middle, another dot, nice round, touch, up, touch that top line, down and stand steady. Another finger space. My fingers are a bit bigger than yours. And we do a nice mmm. Mmm is not at all later. So mmm. And then yeah. Yeah is a tail letter. Round. Touch the dotted line. Down. Now we've got to give them a tail. So we're going to go down to the dotted line underneath. Finger space. Now we've got, I did my work. We've got the word work. So, w is a short letter. O is another short letter. Touch the dotted line, touch the solid line. R, another short letter. Touch and touch. And kicking king, remember is a tall letter. From the top line, down through the dotted line, we come in and out and do a full stop. Boys and girls, again, don't forget, you now need to leave a whole line out. Whole line out, just like they have in your copy card. And we go on to number three. Remember, you never write on the dotted line. We always write on the solid line. The solid line holds up the letters. The dotted line, they would all fall through. So they've got to sit on the solid line. Right, boys and girls, I think you can carry on with that. Get some beautiful work done. And remember, touch the dotted line, touch the bottom line. And remember where your tall letters are need to go up and your tail letters need to come down. Alright boys and girls, have some fun, work beautifully, we'll see you soon.